Let's head to College Park, check in with Coach Mark Turgeon, who's with Nicole there. All right, Coach, you get the news that you're the five seed playing in Spokane against the 12 seed South Dakota State. What do you think about the matchup that you have coming and a long trip ahead? Yeah, it's a long trip. Uh, Spokane's a great city and a great part of the country, so we're looking forward to that. Sometimes it's good to get away. Um, feel bad for our fans because um, I'm sure a lot of them were hoping we'd be in Providence or New York, but that's, that's the way it goes. And um, South Dakota State, we got to see them a lot. They were in the uh, Cancun Challenge with us. We got to see them play a um, couple times down there. They were a terrific, um, well-coached team, really balanced team, uh, very, had a lot of toughness to them. So like any game in the NCAA tournament, it'll be a really tough game. Coach, as opposed to last year, you kept uh, tonight's viewing a little more intimate, mm -hmm. just with the guys uh, watching on the video board here at Xfinity Center. What did you tell the guys after? Like, what did you guys talk about when you found out your seating and your matchup? And what was the feeling from the team when you guys learned where you'd play? Guys are excited. Um, you know, you could tell early on that it was about the Big 12 and about the Pac-12 uh, and the Big 10s that we were get, probably going to be a seed lower. And I think everybody was a seed or two lower in the Big 10 than we thought we were going to be. Um, but our guys are excited. Um, we went through the matchups. They know South Dakota State. We hung around them in Cancun. We got to watch them play live. They got to watch us play live. Uh, so we know each other pretty well. And then, you know, obviously Hawaii is a heck of a team. They won their league, a tough league, and, and um, uh, they almost beat Oklahoma early in the year. Uh, and then Cal's a really talented, well-coached team. Kwanzaa does a great job. So, um, you know, we just talked about those teams. Those are the ones we got to play two of those three, hopefully. Uh, before we have to advance and um, so we're looking forward to it. We got a lot better this week. We talked about getting better this week. Uh, we don't play till Friday, which is great, so we can get a lot better between now and then. And you mentioned obviously you don't play till Friday, but it is tough to get across the country to Spokane. I, I don't think there's a region further than Spokane is for you guys. So what's the message? How do you guys prepare for that? It's a lot of travel. Yeah, but uh, you know, hopefully it'll make us tougher. You know, one thing that uh, we, we were getting tougher and and a situation like this can make us tougher. So um, it is what it is. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll handle it. Um, we'll, we'll get two days. We'll go in on Wednesday. It gives us two days to get used to the time change. Um, I'm sure game times will come out tonight. Uh, we'll get a better feel for it. But it's a great, it's a great arena. Fans will come out. Um, it's a great, great city. Uh, so, we're, you know, we're looking forward to it. We're just glad to be a part of it. You know, there's years that Maryland hasn't been a part of this tournament. So for two years in a row, uh, to be clearly in the tournament and have a chance to play in it in advance. And we feel like we can play with anybody. So wherever they send us, we, we'd play on the moon if they send us <laughs> to the moon. So we're, we're excited. Thank you so much, Coach. Good luck in Spokane. All right. Thank you.